Hello, YouTubers. It's Chris, and we have a 22-year-old Ford Windstar here with a, uh, well, I wouldn't call it severe, but a relatively impactful problem with the track on the sliding door, the right rear door, passenger side. And if I go to open it here, you're going to see it'll kind of drop down into a kind of a, a deficit, and you might actually be able to see problem that uh, I've seen incurred here. All right, you'll see it just drop down a little bit. If you look down here, the roller has fallen down into like a rot hole. The button there, and we'll push that and you'll see it won't close. It's, it's jammed in there. So what we're going to do is fix that there. We can kind of sneak right up there. See? So I can assure you that this is going to be the easiest repair in the world for a complication of this design. Um, what I'm going to first do is just that recession that you see where the, where, where the, the roller is falling into. I'm just going to put a, a slug of uh, Bondo, some body repair putty in there. It'll firm it up, uh, give a solid backing underneath it. And then what I'm going to do, I've just cut out a piece of galvanized uh, you know, some, some metal here. It's, it's, it's stiff. I mean, it, it's, it, it's very stiff. It's all. Do that. And then I'm going to slather it with some fiberglass resin. Now, fiberglass resin, this stuff, this, like, this is like bonding snot to corduroy. I mean, it is just impervious to being removed, uh, dry super hard. We're not going to use any actual f fiberglass material, but just, just, just the resin. It, it was like an adhesive to drop this onto. And then what can happen is the, uh, the door will roll right over it. So I'll show you how we're going to go about this. All right. Step one, we're going to mix up some of this body filler here. I don't know. It used, used to be red. Now it's blue. I don't know. So I'm going to use this nice big tongue depressor kind of thing. We'll mix this all up. All right. Now it's just a matter of getting this stuff on this long popsicle stick down to that, that hole there. And we're just going to go ahead and mix it up. It dries quick. It's all right. You just want to kind of, we want to, we want to give a good backing for, uh, you know, for the resin and galvanized metal going on top. But we'll let this harden up. Hardens up really quick, maybe a couple hours come back and uh, then we'll take it from there and last but not least I took a big slather of fiberglass resin and hardener and I ladled it all across the bottom here right on top of that uh, that wad of uh, body filler in there and I put that small piece it's about uh, one and a half by eh, three inches of uh, galvanized metal there and what we're going to do is just let that kind of harden up, dry overnight, and this will track the roller. We'll put a little, you know, kind of spread a little lithium grease in that. That's going to roll right over that, and that is not going anywhere. Tomorrow morning, let it harden overnight, and give it a try on full auto. All right, with everything now in place and hardened up, dried, and solidified, let's try out our handiwork. We'll uh, automatically open this by giving the door a crank. And we'll zoom in on here. Put that on. And you can see the... Uh, you can see our plate right there. And it rolled right over it. It's 
thoroughly embedded in there in fiberglass resin with the plug of body filler underneath. And let's see, over here, we'll hit this button, close it again. We'll try it a couple of times here. And we'll open it up. So there you go. But it's been rescued, and at least this thing should be good for another, uh, I don't know. Well, as long as Russ never sleeps. Or, as I should say, as long as Russ keeps sleeping. Take care. Happy summer.